The chief engineer asked me to go out to the 50,000 watt AM station today. So I thought, I'll just take my camera out with me. And what you're looking at here is Tower 2, which is on the left, and Tower 1. Tower 1 is the main tower that puts out the power. And you'll notice that there's uh, quite a bit of foliage inside of the fence, which is going to be addressed this weekend. This is Tower 3 and Tower 4. And you can see that the foliage has been pretty much removed. This is the transmitter site. And here are the three air conditioning units that uh, cool down this transmitter. And here is the transmitter. This is a Nautel. It was put in around 1986, somewhere in that neighborhood. And if you take a look at this transmitter, you can see that we've got uh, 48 individual little transmitters that put out about 1.1 K watts, and that adds up to about 50,000 watts. This is the Harris standby transmitter, and it is a vacuum tube model. Here's a look at the board on the Nautil transmitter. And this is one quad. So each one puts out about 1.1K. So we're putting out about 4.4K in each one of these. And we've got a computer here along with uh, battery supply and um, tea carrier in the back and for the audio and also Wi-Fi. This is the audio rack here, and uh, everything seems to be working quite well. I wanted to take a picture of this, because I had a question yesterday when I was on two meters here in Raleigh about uh, how the energy gets transferred from the transmitter, which is on the right here, to the left, that goes to a phaser that uh, phases uh, the four antennas that is on the left. Well, you can clearly see, which looks to be possibly a four-inch diameter copper pipe. Well, that is how the energy gets from the transmitter to the phaser. And this is the phaser that uh, can adjust the phases of all four antennas. And of course, uh, this is north of Raleigh, so they have it directed uh, to cover the Raleigh area in North Carolina. And this is the neighbor's horse. Uh, quite a beautiful one also. And I did a little whistle and uh, he looked up for us. Thanks for watching.